Hi guys, in this video I want to share with you amazing images of Ukrainian winter. To, to even add more value and flavor to this video, I will read poetry to you of the most famous Ukrainian poet Taras Shevchenko. It will be in English. For example, we will start with this. Bury me, be done with me, rise and break your chain. Water your new liberty with blood for rain. Then, in the mighty family of all men that are free, maybe sometimes very softly, you will speak of me. Uh, this is his the most famous uh, poem. It's his testament, like after he dies, after he's buried, he wants uh, people, Ukrainian people, to free his land, uh, to free Ukraine. Uh, he wants Ukraine to be independent and then uh, he wishes that maybe family, when they gather, uh, they will remember his name. Uh, his poetry is uh, dramatic, it's filled with desire for Ukraine to be independent and he criticizes uh, foes of Ukraine. Uh, it's uh, not so frequently translated into English, but I was able to find some the most notable poems for you and I will read them to you as you watch the view of winter Lviv. Uh, and so you, you must know him. We have Shevchenko Street, Shevchenko Avenue, and we have the monument of Shevchenko probably in every city. And so you're wondering who is this man, uh, such a serious with mustache, uh, who is this man? Now you will be able to listen to his poems and you will be able to understand his personality, his struggles, and you will be able to understand uh, Ukrainians more uh, and why he matters to us and how he has shaped our society. Because he is like we learn him in school, uh, and yeah, uh, and so I want to share it with you. The translation is not perfect, but uh, it will give you a gist. You did not play me false of faith. of faith. You were a brother, closest friend to this poor wreck. You took my hand when I was still a little thought and walked me to the deacon school to gather knowledge from the thought. My boy, you said hard. You said you will be somebody in time. I listened and studied. Forged ahead, got educated, but you lied. What am I now? But never mind. I've walked the straight path. You and I, we have not cheated, compromised, or lived the very slightest lie. So let's march on, dear fate of mine, my humble, truthful, truthful, faithful friend. Keep marching on. The glory lies. March forward. That's my testament. I was 13, I herded lambs beyond the village on the lee. The magic of the sun, perhaps, or what was it, affected me. I felt with, with joy all overcome, as though with God. The time for lunch had gone past by, and still among the weeds I lay, and prayed to God. I know not why I was so pleasant than to pray for me, an orphaned peasant boy, or why such bliss so filled me there. The sky seemed bright, the village fair, the, the very lamp seemed to rejoice. The sun's rays warmed, but did not sear. But not for long, the sun stayed kind, not long in bliss, I prayed. Let me know if you like poetry, if you, what do you think about these poems? That bury me in my beloved Ukraine, my tomb upon the grave mount high, amid the spreading plain, so that the fields, the boundless steps, the Dnieper's plunging shore, my eyes could see, my ears could hear the mighty river's roar. When from Ukraine the Dnieper bears into the deep blue sea the blood of foes, then will I leave these hills and fertile lands, I will leave them all and fly away to the above of God, and then I'll pray, but till that day I nothing know of God. O bury me, then rise ye up, and break your heavy chains, and water with the tyrant's blood the freedom you have gained. And in the great new family, the family of thee, with a softly spoken, kindly word, remember also me.
Do you have the same snow in your country? Because I understand that this year we had the, the weather everywhere was crazy uh, and let me know if you also had uh, lots of snow in your country. Please like this video and, and subscribe. Bye! Couch. Just lay. Just lay. Just sleep. Don't worry. On the couch. Did you ask to go outside? You wanted to go outside. Yes. Oh. <laughs>